Police now have a murder investigation on their hands following a nightclub melee in which nine people were shot. One man is dead and two are fighting for their lives along with five others in stable condition. All victims of what police suspect was a gang war at the East Bay and Mackey Street night spot borders. Now police have relaunched rapid strike as they make a series of arrests to try and bring all the suspects to justice. Harshanik Miller has the latest on the investigation into the shooting spree. Since this morning, police have scoured neighborhoods and communities to find those responsible for the mayhem at Ballers nightclub at 2 o'clock this morning. So far, 22 men have been taken into custody. The youngest, 17. The oldest, 54. Our initial investigations revealed that the shooting was as a result of a feud between two rival criminal gangs. Subsequent to the shooting, the police arrested seven males between the ages of 17 and 42. And a short while ago, an additional 15 persons ages 17 to 54 all males were arrested in the Kemp Road area. The group of seven, uh, which I referred to initially, was arrested at Nassau Village. The investigation is far from over. Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenslade expects that several more arrests will follow. At the center of this bloodbath, 34-year-old Nassau Village resident Julian Colley, also known as Heads and Ridgeland Park West resident, 37-year-old Stephen Dye Stubbs. Particular emphasis and focus will also be placed on groups of young men, ordinarily referred to as gangs in our communities, and organized crime groups who continue to cause problems. I'm also going to be petitioning so that we might revisit all of these licenses that have been issued. And I stand firmly on the point despite how unpopular it might be. We cannot allow business establishments to remain open into the wee hours of the morning, 3, 4, and 5 a.m., uh, and attract the ilk uh, of, of nefarious goons that seek to apply their criminal deeds. The victim is a 21-year-old man. Two remain in critical condition, and five, including a woman, are in stable condition. Since this morning, many have called for a curfew as a resolution to the escalating crime. Greenslade says the police force is not looking to establish a curfew as the Bahamas is a democracy. We have relaunched in a new format. Rapid Strike has been asked to seek out and arrest prolific offenders that continue to commit crimes in our communities. As of today, there are 59 murders on record for 2012, five more than this time last year. Greenslade says there were several guns used and possibly more than one shooter. Where there are groups of people masquerading around this country, committing crime, we are going to be resolute in interdicting the activities that we, that we perceive or we see, and we're inviting the public to call and tell us, and we will respond. Greenslade says despite the murder count being five more than it was this time last year, he and his officers will not be distracted by the violence. He vowed that the police force will continue its fight against crime. Shanique Miller, CNS News.